New tonight, we're hearing from family and neighbors of a broken arrow woman as her suspected attacker is behind bars without bond. Brent Morris is accused of beating Karis Gregg nearly to death inside her home over the weekend. Fox 23 Sarah Whaley has this developing story and is live with what led to his surrender. Sarah. I told you last night on Fox 23 News just how much social media attention this story was getting. Now, police say they believe it was that in combination with our news stories that pressured the suspect to turn himself in. It's brutal. It's a brutal crime. Take a look at the screen. This is Karis Gregg, the woman who broke an arrow police say was senselessly beaten over the weekend. Detectives say the suspect, her ex-boyfriend, 33-year-old Brent Morris, nearly killed her. People have been very interested in this case. Officer James Cook says even strangers have been affected by the story, wanting to know how the innocent mother of two is doing. As for her neighbors... I don't know. I just, it's just sad. They've shed tears. She's a good person. She never hurt nobody. She just stayed home with her kids. I talked with neighbor Tracy Howard when I first did the story. Tuesday, when I talked with her again, she was grateful that Morris was behind bars. I, I didn't feel safe with him out here. You right. know, he's going to do that, you know, who's to say what else? Court records show Morris violated a protective order filed by Greg on two different occasions in July. In both cases, affidavits say Morris beat Greg and destroyed her property. Detectives say Morris turned himself in for failure to appear on those cases. A judge ordered he be held with no bond as detectives work to get more evidence in this most recent case. Greg's family released a statement Tuesday that said they can breathe a sigh of relief now that the suspect is in custody. They thanked law enforcement and the social media campaign for leading to a timely arrest. Tonight, that victim is still in critical condition, but the family tells me they do have hope for her recovery. Reporting live here in Broken Arrow, covering news that matters, Sarah Whaley, Fox 23 News.